What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, just finished up doing the live stream reaction of SmackDown with the homie dub on the In the Clutch page. Shout out to everyone that was a part of that stream. We always appreciate y'all when y'all are in the stream with us. It makes the shows that much better. But we have to talk about the Cody Rose and Roman Reigns promo segment. Started off the show. Their first time interacting on the road to WrestleMania. Uh, the past few weeks has been Paul Heyman kind of relaying messages or whatnot to get under Cody's skin. So Cody comes out there or whatnot. Crowds, you know, loving his entrance as they usually do. And he's in the ring. And then you have Roman, Paul Heyman, Solo Sokoa, and Jimmy Uso. And uh, Cody starts the promo off saying like, look, you know, I'm here really to talk to you one on one. Uh, I don't see why everyone else is here is needed unless you feel like they're needed. So Roman tells everybody, get out the ring. This is just going to be um, Roman and uh, and uh, Cody Rhodes. One-on-one, -on -one, man to man uh, promo back and forth. And I appreciated that because the attention and focus was strictly on them. Because we all know the there's a, a, another storyline going on with Jimmy and uh Sami Zayn and that the bloodline situation and Jay Uso that's another storyline within this storyline so I'm glad that they just focused on these two in the ring this was a great segment and I like the fact Roman laid the titles kind of threw them down on the ground but kind of just put it all out there I like the fact that Roman started to you know really turn up the heel persona like he wasn't outwardly being like just you know evil for the sake of being evil or saying you can't get the job done or whatever it was more so of like psychological like really trying to get under his skin and i like that he started simply with the have you ever won this title before he's talking about the wwe universal championship he's talking about the then he's talked about have you ever won the wwe championship then he's like, have you ever main evented a WrestleMania? And the crowd is eating this up because he, you know, Roman's like, bro, I've, I've been there. I've done all of this. You know what I'm saying? And I like Cody was also trying to prove his points of, you know, his, his struggles are like, I've always broken past the barriers that I wasn't supposed to break. He even mentioned him leaving WWE, getting past the Stardust gimmick, leaving WWE, finding a name for himself again, starting up an a indie wrestling company, you know, pretty much mentioned in AEW without saying it, and how he's always shattered through people's expectations, and this is an, a, big, uh, a big expectation that people don't think he's going to be able to complete, and he's here to do that, and I like how Roman is just still trying to knock him down, like, I get that, but you haven't even fought for any of these titles, let alone main event of WrestleMania. What makes you think you're going to beat me? And then he started getting into his father. You know, it's a very sensitive subject for Cody. And I like this. This is when Roman started getting in his real heel bag. He's like, I I'm not going to disrespect your dad. Your dad has done everything for me. Your dad has laid out the blueprint. Everything that he said I will become your dad was right on and the crowd's cheering because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a true story to that you know i'm sure dusty was a very pivotal point a very pivotal person for roman reigns development and confidence he even started talking like dusty which was quite hilarious i loved it you know trying to impersonate him not in a disrespectful way but more in a like a respectful endearing way or whatnot but things started taking a turn for worse in this promo segment because then he was like, yeah, man, we, we talked about so many things, about life, everything. The one thing we didn't talk about was you. And that's when that's when things started to, you know, irritate Cody, bro. You know, this is the story. They're always trying to bring up. Dusty was a great man. You're saying you're doing this for your dad. But. He's the one that helped Roman get to where he is. And he's never talked about you, his son. Huh, it's very interesting. And I like that they're playing those mind games here. And basically, he's like, you know, maybe he did talk to him with everyone else. But when I was there, he, he didn't mention you. You know, and I get it. 
your dad is not here. I understand. I, I get that. But maybe, you know, there's a good chance I'll probably be able to teach you some things that your dad couldn't and try to shake his hand. And, oh, that was so good. And Cody fired back with a very emotional statement. He's like, no, that wasn't you sending Paul Heyman these couple of weeks just to get under my skin. No, that's what you believe. That's how you feel. Well, now it's even more imperative that I win now. I have to win. I have to beat you at WrestleMania to pretty much prove to, you know, to, to myself and everyone else this, this notion of, oh, um, you were Dusty's favorites. You know, if Dusty had a had a son, he would have wanted it to be you. Now I have to win this. And I love the, the passion he had. I love the way Roman was really being passive aggressive here. He was being an asshole, but he's trying to come off as really actually caring. He doesn't give a damn. And they shook hands. There was no brawl. There was no pull apart. I'm sure it's going to get to that point. But... It wasn't there yet. They're slowly building it. And I like that interaction. That was a cool interaction. Nothing else needed to happen. I enjoyed all of that. It was just them two in the ring. Roman playing mind games. Trying to get under his skin. I loved it. That was fantastic. I am looking forward to them um, having some more interactions. I'm sure we'll get that as we get closer to WrestleMania. But I like it. They kept it chill. At some point, it's not going to be chill. I know that, and I can't wait for it to really get personal. I'm really wanting Cody, because Roman's going to keep pushing that button to get, get as disrespectful as he possibly can, and I want to be able to see the moment when Cody says, you know what, screw it, and he starts getting personal, and he starts digging in where it hurts, and he gets under Roman's skin, and now it's going to get to that point where now... It's not even just only about the championships. Now, it's it's personal. There's more personal beef on both sides. And I, I can't wait to see that when if it does happen and if it does get to that point. So, comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy that segment as much as I did? Because I know that was fantastic. Great way to start off SmackDown tonight. It was great. You know, let me know how y'all feel about that segment. And where do you guys want the segment uh, their their future promos leading up to WrestleMania. Where do you want it to go for? Do you want it to kind of stay where it is? What what lane do you guys think should be taken to intensify this feud? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world, and still your in the clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.